Hello, we have an ice cube floating in a cup of water and the cup is filled to the brim. The question is, after the ice has melted, should the water level increase, that means overflow, or should it stay the same, or should it become lower? For discussion's sake, let's say the ice cube is one kilogram. So, how much water does this ice cube displace? in order for it to stay afloat. So I'm asking what is the mass of this displaced water here? It's one kilogram, right? Because the ice cube experiences only two forces, the upthrust and the weight. So if the ice is floating, that means net force must be zero, which means the weight of the fluid displaced must be equal to the weight of the object. So, one kilogram of ice must displace one kilogram of water in order for upthrust to be equal to weight. So, what we have here is the one kilogram ice cube is going to melt and become one kilogram of water. During melting, the mass doesn't change, right? We still have the same number of H2O molecules. It's just the intermolecular spacing that changes. Now, how much volume does one kilogram of water occupy? It's this volume, isn't it? So after the ice cube has melted, it becomes one kilogram of water, which occupies exactly this space left behind here. So the water level will stay the same, exactly the same. Amazing, right?